Hello guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn about data operation filter as well as data operation select. And this is the continuation session from the earlier session. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal to take our project further. So guys, I am into the project which we are developing since last three sessions. And now what we are going to do, we can use the filter operation as well as select operation to extract the data from this particular list row present in a table action but prior to writing the formula to extract the data we have to understand that why do we use filter and why do we use select so guys filter operation we use to filter out the values which we don't want so what kind of values we don't want so we don't want any kind of a empty value so understand this scenario with an example over here so guys this is the excel file which is used by team and they are having all the people listed over here who is going to get the quarterly award and this is very dynamic sometime people will get 40 people will get sometime 100 people will get you don't know the number what is the number is going to be in each of the quarter so what you do you can specify a maximum value for example 500 people if you are working for large organization so might be 500 people will get the award so you put a number 500 people will get the quarterly award so you put a maximum number but it doesn't mean that every time you will get the 500 people who is going to get the award sometime it will be only 200 people but you have to decide upon a maximum range so let's do it that first then i will make you understand why the filter is being used so over here in the application context i am going to tell that i am expecting that every quarter 500 people will get the award so i am making the range like this a to 2k 500 and over here what will happen if only 19 people are getting the award but it is bringing 500 rows and over here all the rows are empty even though there is no data but it is bringing 500 rows because we are telling that you have to bring the 500 rows over here keep the 500 rows inside the table range and the moment we are telling this keep it inside the table range so it is bringing all the values from this 500 range even though it is empty so now power automate get all the 500 rows for further processing but our requirement is we don't want all the rows which doesn't have data we want only the rows which has the data so we need to filter out this empty value so how we will do that so we can do it with the data operation connector there is an action called filter action so let's do that so over here i will come and add an action and i will write filter over here and you will see that it is part of data operation and here you will get the filter array so i will select this one and over here i need to specify the array and from where we can get the array from the earlier step so over here you will see that we are telling the bring the data all the data which exist inside this table and in the range what we have specified we have specified the table range should be this one and but i am having only 19 rows where we are having the data and i want to filter all the empty values so how we will do that i will come over here i will specify the array value so over here you will see that it has written list row present in a table so that means this value is coming from this particular action so i will select this one i will come over here make sure that you are clicking over here and select this one so now this is the array value and what i am telling if this title is empty then don't select that row so let's do it so as we are iterating this array we can come over here and go to expression i will click over here select this one this text box and i will come to the expression and over here i will write an expression that is item if you write like this item function that means the current item and over here i am telling that i want the title because this array holds a field called title and that is what i am telling over here click on ok and then i am telling that does not contain empty value i am not going to specify any value so with the help of this condition it will filter out all the empty value from the table so out of 500 record it will select only 19 records so now we are done with the filter now next step we need to grab the data from each of the 
fields. So how we will do that? Let's look into that. So over here we are having all these data. So how I am going to select all these data? That is what we are going to perform in the next step. So I will come over here, click on add an action and over here I will write select and you will see that in this data operation if you click on here then you will find that we have a select data operation. So over here we need to specify from where I can get the data. So the output of this filter array I am going to use it over here. So I will select and put body over here. I will select this body. Now I am going to map the key with the value. So I am going to create a key over here that is called title and over here I will mention like this item. I want to map this current item and from the current item I want the title should be mapped with the title click on OK. Now let's look into what is the next field we are having. So the next field we are having is manager. So manager field is the person and group field and this is a complex field and we want to grab the email address. So how we will do that? Let's look into that. So over here I will come I will write my own key over here manager and over here I need to specify the syntax like this. I need to come here put a curly braces and within that I need to write over here claims this is the capital case make sure that you are specifying C capital now over here I need to specify the item and from the item current item I want the manager so whatever the value exists inside this manager I want those values so I will click on OK now next field we are having a what type let me grab it now I will come over here and paste it now over here we need to specify again I will come item question mark and the name is same so I am going to use the same so I will click OK now so it is item from the current item I want the award type click OK now next we are having the award type and if you remember that award type is a choice column and to push the data to the choice column there is different way we can prepare our data so how we will do that let's look into that so over here I will come and I will put the key over here that is award type and now again we need to specify the data inside the JSON JSON format and over here I need to specify double quotes and I will tell that value so to set the value of the choice column I need to specify like this so that the reason we need to specify within the JSON format and over here I will grab the value which is coming from the Excel so how we will do that that is going to be the similar step and over here I will use current item and then I need to specify award type that we already know that but important thing over here is choice field is a complex field and it is a JSON format and it is inside the JSON format and to push the data to the complex field we need to push it through the JSON form and that is what we are doing over here now let's proceed further now next we are having the project if you remember that project field is a lookup column we are already having another list and from where we are getting the data and the data is coming in the form of lookup ID and to push the data to the lookup field we have to specify the ID of the value so let me make you understand this so guys this is my list and over here if you will go inside the list setting then you will find it over here there is something called project and project is a lookup field and you will see that it is coming from this projects list and where is the project list let's look into that so I will come here go to the site content and then over here we are having this projects list and I want the value to be specified from these number of values so how we will do that while creating an item inside the SharePoint list so how we will do that we need to specify the ID and that is what I am giving over here so that the reason you are having the ID over here so that means that this is belongs to the project 2 so this guy is from the project 2 and this is the ID so we need to specify the ID over here so let's jump into the power automate program and prepare my data for lookup field so let's look into that so I will come over here I will specify project and over here I am going to specify again the curly braces and within that I am going to specify ID and within the ID I am going to mention the expression 
expression is going to be the same over here I want the value from the project field so I need to specify like this item question mark project so this will give me the ID of the project so I will click on OK now let's proceed further and let's look into what is the next field we are having so the next field we are having is the award received date that is a date type so guys this is going to be again another trickier field and to work with the date field in the power automate we have to use a particular formula to extract the date in this format so let's look into that formula as well this is very important whenever you are working with date field you have to follow the same practice which I am going to show you so I will come over here first I will create a key over here and then in the expression I need to write something like this so let's look into that I will write add days there is a function called add days and I need to add something like 1899-12-30 and then I need to specify how many number of days I want to add it so I am going to add the value which is existing so over here I will specify int item and I want the award received date and I want in a particular format so that format I need to specify over here so I want my SharePoint list will display the date something like DD MM capital M two times hyphen small y four times so a small DD hyphen capital MM hyphen four times YY so that is the formula you have to use so I will click on OK now we are done with the award received date so now let's proceed further next we are having description that is pretty much straightforward so you know that how to do that let's do it quickly I will come here paste description it is going to be an expression you know that what expression it is item question mark grab the key description over here let's do it for other key the other field is the point received I will copy this one go back come over here paste it go to the expression item question mark point received ok now go to the other field other field is profile link I will come over here select this one go back and paste it over here and again over here I will write item and expression over here item and profile link so that's it for now remaining one I will not pick because it is not existing there inside the SharePoint list so over here you will find that other fields are not there so I don't want to extract that so if you don't want any value that you don't want from the Excel file just leave it as is don't select that so guys now we are done with the select operation we have completed this session and in this session we have looked into how to use the data operation filter as well as how to use data operation select and this is what I wanted to demonstrate you in this session so I hope you enjoyed the session so on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.